So we should understand the properties of acids. Pro acids have a sour taste, they dissolve many metals, and they will turn blue litmus paper red. Litmus paper has a compound in it that changes color depending on the level of hydrogen ion in the solution. So if you take a piece of blue litmus paper and put it into an acid, it turns red. It's really, in this picture, it looks more like lavender and pink, but same idea. Here are some common acids and what they are used for. I am not going to test you on this, but this is just kind of interesting. Um, you know, because we tend to have this phobia of chemicals, and yet everything's a chemical, really. And they are very, very useful. So if you like soda... What? Stupid computer. No. I don't want to update Java in the middle of my lecture. Good grief. Um, if you like soda, there's carbonic acid in your soda. Um, and so we can see all these different acids are used here. Uh, hydrochloric acid is in your stomach. And that's also the acid that you may add to your swimming pool to adjust its pH, sometimes called muriatic acid. So there are um, the structures and models of all these acids, just kind of for your information. I'm just going to run these two together because they're so short. Um, so bases. Bases have a bitter taste and they have a slippery feel and they're going to turn red litmus paper blue. So you can kind of think of a base as being the opposite of an acid. So why do bases feel slippery? Well, they actually react with the oils on your skin and make soap. And that's why they feel slippery like soap. If you leave them on your skin, then they will dissolve your skin, and that's bad. And bases have a very bitter taste. Uh, we don't tend to like bitter things. Um, here's an, uh, a photograph of consumer products that contain bases. Do you see many foods in there? No. There's tonic water. Anybody like tonic water? You ever had that? It's nasty. It tastes bitter because it's got a base in it. Um, bases are much less common in foods because they are capable of dissolving tissue. And so that's not a good thing to be putting into your body. Um, alkaloids are organic bases that are found in plants. Have you heard of hemlock? Hemlock is poison. I think, isn't that what uh, Romeo and Juliet drank? Was hemlock? Yeah, and it killed them. Um, so the, that bitter taste warns us, hey, don't eat that. Um, caffeine, though, caffeine here, this is my favorite, favorite molecule. Caffeine has a bitter taste. Um, so coffee overall is acidic, but it does have this base in it, caffeine, and that's what gives coffee a bitter flavor. Obviously, we're not drinking a lot of caffeine in any, any one beverage, and so we don't get a real nasty bitter taste. I think if you, if you tasted pure caffeine, you wouldn't like it. We don't drink it for the taste anyway. So here are some common bases and some of their uses. Um, Sodium bicarbonate, um, its more familiar name is baking soda. Okay, and so we do use baking soda in, in foods, but again, not too much. Ammonia is often used in cleaning, smells nasty.